Welcome to the last chapter of my work on Curve for a general guide. Today I'm going to review with you the golden one. Let's start from the top. So the first one, it's, it's blocked. Graziani, 2,300 medals, basically, for a general which has a five tank. You need to spend one extra upgrade here to get him to a Panzer Attack 24. Um, very slow, only one star, you can upgrade up to three. Again, every upgrade, you need to factor it into the total price. There are other genera which are more expensive, but already are with three, four stars. So, uh, and then the skills, beside the Ace Forces, Machinist is like the equivalent of the Ambulance in European War VI, but not the best. So I wouldn't recommend, they are better generals. Yamashita is uh, one of the best or the best infantry general in the game. As you know, I hate infantry, so I never use them. But if you need an infantry, it's either him <coughs> or uh, Rundstedt, which we'll see later on. 2300 also is a bargain. I mean, for a gold general, which has a five star in terms of uh, speed and a six star in their specific, it's a very good price. Simply, it's the wrong specific. Button, <clears throat> 2700. Normally, a gold general, a good price is around this 2005 2700. So, Patton, of course, is a superb tank. I mean, it's a maximum six. Only three stars in speed it can be upgraded to five. Again, it will cost money. It's also versatile, it's good in, uh, in the other uh, spe specialties. Particularly, what it can be used for is the air power because it's an air force already of plus three and it can be upgraded with the fourth uh, star. But <clears throat> the skills are really not uh, useful. Tide of Iron, which is really a secondary skill for tank when the armors, are, when the enemy is half damage. Entrenchment, which again is not very common to have. And Camouflage, again, not very common. You have uh, two slots, so you can add, of course, always Rumor and Panzer Leader, but, I mean, there are better general. It's not too bad, but there is better than this. Okay, why the screen is blocking. Then Montgomery, same, is 2,600 for a three-star speed and a five-star tank. If you spend in each to upgrade it to six star and to four star, the price will go to close to 3000. And again, he has uh, the skills, the plane fighting, crossfire, not very useful. So again, I wouldn't recommend him. He has also the versatility like Patton, four stars in Air Force. But let's see why I don't recommend it. Uh, Yamamoto. 2,800 uh, coins is, of course, a maximum Air Force. Also, is a five-star Navy, so that's a, it's nice to have this type of versatility. Uh, his skills are uh, really, um, let's say, more like Air Force skills, so carpet and Air Force. With the two skills, here I would put Rumor, when you use it as a Navy, because it's extremely useful and probably fleet leader. So you have the versatile general. The problem with Yamamoto is very expensive uh, because Air Force is uh, probably, the, for me at least, is the fourth specialty. For me, number one, tank. Number two, artillery. Number three, navy. Of course, submission, navy is more important. And Air Force is just the last one. Air Force can be useful in the advanced exercise like uh, Hudson Bay or Panama. Uh, in some of the Navy battles, though they are quite easy to win, like Pearl Harbor, uh, Iwo Jima. So spending so much money for an Air Force General, doubting it's half the price and it's good enough, I would say. And then you can get also Arnold uh, and some of the other low-tier General. They have the same power of Air Force. Said that. Now, this is without any doubt the best general in the game, and it's always the first one I use in any mission 
Guderian, so the usual top tank. He has a five uh, uh, star in speed. Because I have it already, you cannot see the price, but the price of Guderian is 2,900. So think about what you've seen so far. Yeah, 2,900, but already with five star in speed and maximum tank. And also he has all the right skills. He has armor assault, a panzer leader, and blitzkrieg. So these are uh, perfect skills to have. And then I added him Rumor and Tide of Iron. So he has an uh, alternative. You can put Machinist for the long mission. He gets, uh, um, you know, I think it's a 50 with a maximum. Uh, he gets uh, 15 units of health every turn. So in a long mission, which is the 20 turns, you get roughly 300 health back. So that's uh, uh, useful because he, the guy, it's always in a bloodbath. But the most important thing is the, pan, uh, the Blitzkrieg. 90% chance they will not fight back, so you never get hit, basically. Okay. Also, he has a four-star in Air Force. I use the Guderian in, as Air Force in some of the exercises when I don't have tanks. But, I mean, I can win mission just with him. MacArthur, 2400, super fast. It's a rocket, the sixth, but again, it's an infantry general, so I don't recommend him. Of course, three stars in Navy can be upgraded to four, three stars in tank. And again, his skills are kind of useless except for the infantry leader. No go. Rokosowski is my third uh, general. I mean, I, I also have a premium general, so in theory is my fourth general, if I factor the premium. If you're not into premium, then this can be your third general. Yes, again, top uh, tank skills, four star in speed. Unfortunately, you cannot be upgraded, so that's a drawback. Its uh, cost is uh, 2,455, which is uh, reasonable. And again, great skills. He has Panzer and Tide. And then I added the Blitzkrieg and Rumor. And it's, again, for a third general, it's a kind of expensive, but tanks is the most important unit. Put all your medals on tanks. Then Donitz is my best navy along with Nimitz. And I really struggle between the two, which is better, to be honest. So I use them both as a ex of top navy. He has a six stars, and he has a five star in speed, which again is very useful. Uh, not very versatile, so two stars all in Air Force, which can be eventually upgraded. But also he has a fleet leader, wolf pack, which is not the most important, but it's useful, and depot ship. That's the equivalent of for the Navy for a machinist. So again, it's the ambulance and helps restore his, uh, his health. And then I gave him a Rumor and Sailor. And I think these are the best skills for Navy. In Navy, there are not that many skills, by the way. So that's it, really. And then Runestead is the other top infantry general. Uh, the advantage of Runestead is much cheaper than Yamashita. If you do the 40% like I did, you see you, it will only cost you 1,400 coins. Uh, but it's a bit slower than Yamashita, you will have to spend the stars to upgrade him. Um, the skills, you have a Guerrilla, which is like a Blitzkrieg for infantry, and two empty slots. But I still recommend don't use infantry. Then, this is the best artillery general, Konev. Top artillery, a speed of four star, which is okay. And is a five star infantry, so if you really want to do an infantry general, you could use a Konev as a, because of for his versatility. Also, he has artillery leader and accuracy, which are very important, and then I added him explosive and rumor. Ah, and the cost after the 40% discount is around 1,400. Then Rommel. Is uh, also is my well. If you if I, you don't factor the Prima General, that should be your second tank after Guderian. Okay, he has the same six tank. The problem of Rommel is the speed, only three star. On the other side, it gives you back in terms of versatility because you could 
be up to a 5 star in artillery and a 4 star in the navy. In terms of skills, he has armor assault, uh, crossfire, which is uh, about counter attacking, and desert fighting, which is not very useful to be honest. That's why I downgraded it compared to good area, and also got blitz and rumor. Now, as you allocate this skill slot, something to consider as well is uh, your medal portfolio. Okay, because uh, you may have some medals, so here I have them all, <coughs> that, uh, uh, for example, uh, Raider, uh, the Raider is infantry, or we find, let's say, yeah, Machinist. Okay, this boosts 30% your Machinist skill. So if you don't have Machinist under any general, maybe for uh, Rommel, instead of uh, uh, Blitzkrieg, maybe you give him Machinist, so you get the amplification and you get a lot of health back. So one thing to consider, it's not the most important skill though, but it's a factor when you think what to use these empty slots. Ah, and the cost for Rommel is uh, 2,785, you cannot see because I got it already. But if you do the missions, you can see the mission in my channel with 40% discount, its cost come down to 1,671, a total bargain. Back to the generals. Then we were talking about Nimitz versus Donitz. They both have a six star, and uh, uh, Nimitz also has a four star in speed. And if I look back to Donitz, five, so Donitz is an inch faster, but Nimitz has a stronger air force. So again, it's a versatility is an advantage. In terms of skill, he also has a fleet leader. He has ace forces, which accelerate the speed of experience, and camouflage, which again can be uh, of a certain value. And then again, I add in depot ship and rumor. So, to me, they are really equivalent. Uh, if you have a different thought, uh, please write in your comment why you think one is better than the other. It would be useful for also the audience. And then we're left with the three in app purchase premium generals. I have to confess, I bought these guys at the very beginning of the game. This is like two, three years ago when I was a, a total rookie. And now, I, uh, as an hour, it's a waste of money. I should never have spent it. I mean, it's a great general, but Donitz and Nimitz are superior. He has a six-star air force and five-star speed, which is already great, plus a six-star navy. But you never use a general as Air Force and Navy the same mission. It's either or. And you can get for less six stars Navy and six stars Air Force. He has a fleet, which is good. Shelter, so so. Depot ship as well. Sailor. And carpet bombing, which is for Air Force. So it's a mixed bag. Don't recommend. Same, I regret the purchase also of Jukov. You know, if uh, I didn't have done it, I would have bought. Uh, with medals, lab is good enough in artillery with Conev, you need only another one and lab is a decent one to go anyway, Jukov has a 6 star uh, artillery and also 6 star infantry and a 5 star in speed, so these are all great and his skills are good, artillery, accuracy, explosive and artillery ballet, these are all good skills but he does not have rumor in artillery without rumor, it's useless I mean. Because with rumor you attack without being attacked back, and you can uh, really help uh, uh, neutralize the enemy general. So I rather have Lab, which uh, has an empty slot, and you can give him rumor than Jukov. And instead, I don't regret Meinstein. Uh, I mean, this is my second tank, second to Gudena, because also Meinstein does not have rumor. That's real. I don't know. Easy tech. This uh, the in up purchase should be really the best generals. Why didn't you design them this way? If you did, you should have put rumor to this guy instead of plain fighting, which is useless. Anyway, he has a six tank and six speed, great, and even five air force. And I've used my stand numerously as an air force general in marine mission when you don't have tanks is great. And then, yes, of course, Panzer and Blitzkrieg, which are the top skills, and Tide of Iron and Armor Assault. These are the four key skills in tanks. 
if instead of playing they put him rumor it would have been top still is an excellent general okay that concludes the analysis next time what we will do we will look at the, in details more at the technology tree uh, and then I will do another session on the buildings and the wonders. For now, take care. Don't forget to subscribe and enable the notification button so you don't miss out.